gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you how I prepare a rabbit. It's not the right way, not the wrong way, but it's just the way I do it and the way I find quite simple. Uh, I punched this rabbit yesterday and uh, I've had it hanging overnight in garage. It's nice and cool this time of year in December, so meat will still be nice and fresh. Uh, I've just got me my axe there and a sharp little knife and that's all I'll need. Yep everyone, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I uh, skin a rabbit. Like I said before this has already been punched, I do that outside, uh, Missy think too keen on uh, smell of rabbit guts. So I've already punched it and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, take legs off with, with my little legs. You've got a nice sharp blade, it's a simple process and it only takes a minute. As you can see, that blade goes straight through. What I'll do at this point is I'll start working skin away from meat, from body, and I'll use my thumbs. Basically, just put your thumbs between fur and meat, and you slowly work that fur away from body. As you can see, it's quite easy. This rabbit is cold as well, it's been hung overnight, so. You tend to find when an animal's cold, it's, it's a bit tougher to skin. And what I'm doing here, I'm just working back, lead, back legs away. Again, it's quite simple. Just a little bit of effort, really. And that back leg's going to pop straight out of the skin. That's first leg free. I'll turn the rabbit over. Uh, just repeat process it on the other side. Thumbs between fur and meat. And just work it away. I'm trying to keep this fur intact because I do want to use it for somewhere else. And uh, by that way I'm I'm using every part of the animal. Obviously uh, I'll eat the meat. And I'll use the fur to target COVID and magpies. Uh, if you can keep it intact and leave it on, it does look like real McCoy in field and uh, they will show a lot of interest in it. And it saves using a full rabbit whip in a danging art. Uh, I do think that's a bit of a waste of meat. It depends if you've got a surplus of rabbits, I suppose, but I don't shoot that many rabbits. As you probably tell from videos, I don't really have that many on my permissions. And what I'm doing here, I'm just getting tail, twisting and pulling at the same time with the pulp back legs. And that frees up pulp back end. Same thing really, I'm just going uh, to free these front legs off now. And then I'll pull fur uh, as far towards the head as I can. Expose it neck. Then I'll use my axe again. I'll chop straight through neck bone. And that'll leave Ed on with fur. Neck bone's a little bit tougher to get through than legs. As you can see, simple process. Now if you place that out in a field, what's left there? It will trick COVID, magpies, crows. They will think it's a rabbit uh, that's died in field and they will show plenty of interest. What I'll do at this point, there's a little bit first still left on there. Uh, ends at legs so I'll just use a little knife, just cut skin away a little bit and then that fur will pull off nice and easy. That's the first two legs done, and then I'll, uh, I'll make my way onto the back legs. Same process, a little slit in skin, and fur comes off. I'm 
That's legs clear. Take that bit of fur off that's left on body. What I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll start working on bike legs, jointing bike legs. Think at this point, so I know this is a bit of innard still in, on the inside from when I punched it in dark. So I'll uh, I'll get a quick rinse through and then uh, I'll get back to it. Quick rinse off at me, take a bit of fur off it that's left loose fur as well. Now I'll go back on chopping board. And I'll carry on process. There we go, I'm ready to go back on chopping board now. Let's work my way around bone. I'll break through bone with a little little uh, twist there and I'll just chop it away. Don't have to be no fancy. In the end of the day you just want to maximise the amount of meat that you get off rabbit. Put it to good use. That's by eating it in my case. Rabbit bones aren't that tough. Like I said before, nice sharp pikes and you'll go straight through them. Front legs are a bit easier. You can just take them straight off with a little knife. Again, I'm trying to maximise what meat I get off it. That's all legs off. So now what I'll be uh, looking at is I'm looking at getting back strap off it. The first thing I do, I find ribs. I go underneath ribs. Rib cage ain't much use. Uh, you can go in a stock pot, you can use it for gravy and that kind of thing. So I've loosened them ribs off front body. And then what I'll concentrate on doing is I'll take belly fat off as well. It's, uh, it don't really cook up that well, but that'll go to the dog. So it'll be happy with the leftovers. Same process on the other side. Just get rid of the remaining uh, belly fat. And all I've got left then is uh, take bike straps off. Easiest way to do that. Just follow the backbone down. Score it all the way down. And all you want to do is just Keep knife running down the backbone and eventually that meat will just uh, cut away. This is the best part of rabbit, most tender meat and it's usually the best part of any animal that you, you uh, use for food. That's one bike strap. Same on the other side, just follow the other side of the backbone. And then just use your knife to keep scoring a lot back bone. As you're doing that, just pull slightly with your, your left or your right hand, depending on which hand you use. And you'll work that meat away from bone. So there's not much left on that now. You could use that for, like I say, for gravy. But what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll take bits and bobs off it and I'll uh, get scraps to the dog. So that's rabbit all done. It took me probably five minutes. I'll keep the rabbit skin with head on. I use that for decoying corvids, magpies, crows. Two nice legs, bike legs, front legs, and two nice pieces of bike strap. Lovely meal. I'll try and make use of every part of this animal. Bits and bobs I chucked in a bag. I'll take scraps off that and they can gut it, dog.